friends. The beauty of having some uh, unscrupulous help. When you make all these claims about Chris Hero's supposedly loaded elbow pads, nobody has proved anything other than it is an elbow pad. Well, it is there for support. Can you disprove it? Yeah. Have you seen an elbow pad that has metal in it? That's how conspiracies go. You can't prove it, but you can't disprove it. That's why they're out there. I've never seen an elbow pad. You haven't inspected Chris Hero's gear. I don't need to. I believe him. He's an honest man. So I made this point last night. I'll make it again. Amazing calm without the trademark uh, mixed martial arts style gloves. Bare knuckle, bare bones fighting here. Kong means business. And she was able to hit that spinning back fist yesterday and not score the victory. Shows how tough the things and things are. Pound for pound. Uh, Sarah Del Rey, as tough as Amazing Kong. Oh, we're factoring the size, we're factoring the anger that Kong possesses. The fact she's waited two and a half months for this rematch, I would have to give decisively the advantage to Amazing Kong. What was that? It's important to point out that Kong has not defeated Sarah Del Rey. Competition. I mean, uh, the uh, Briscoes and Kong did come out of the winning end of that six-person tag match, but after their one-on-one -on -one encounters, it's all Sarah Del Rey. She put on the five, as you said, in New York City, and uh, about two and a half years ago, they met in Shimmer's main event on Volume 15, available at ROHWrestling.com, and Sarah Del Rey scored the victory in that match. Uh, Kong could not answer the referee's ten count after Sarah was able to get the Royal Butterfly on someone the size of Amazing Kong was... One of the most amazing things I've ever seen in women's wrestling. As uh, Sarah Del Rey uh, seeks consultation with the Kings of Wrestling, what is going to the mind of the Kings of Wrestling right now with uh, tag wars in the first swing and the potential of so many bigger contenders waiting in the match? They realize how competitive the tag team division which is. Uh, they would love to see the ring against basically anyone except the Briscoes because the Briscoes had their chance to fail. And so now it's time for other competitions. There we go, Paul! Amazing to see the Briscoe still uh, in the race in Tag Wars. Of course, it all comes down to endurance in Charlotte at the end of August. We will crown three top contenders to the Kings of Wrestling. And then from there, we will see if you and Claudio are truly untouchable. All right, working over the arm of Amazing Kong right here. And it neutralize Kong's strength. She doesn't have a good arm. She can't get Sarah Del Rey up or something like the Amazing Bomb or the Implant Buster. That's right. Del Rey, uh, great strategy here. That comes with associating with the likes of Hero, Claudio, and Hagedorn. Over the years, she's going to wrestle a very, very smart match, if nothing else. And the only question being, how will she neutralize the power of the And what will be the goal? but only for about three or four seconds for the chin breaker from Del Rey and the running boot in the corner to follow up. The other question, of course, being what will be the involvement of Hagedorn and the Kings of Wrestling on the outside? We got that. We got that question answered already with Chris Hero getting a little bit too close for comfort in the action with Tom. Ray, one of the most dominant women in ROH history. One of the most feared competitors in all of women's wrestling today. Del Rey created a weakness, but when it came time to exploit it, Tom got a little mad. Martial arts style shots. And Tom still has one arm to work with and takes Del Rey down with the clothesline. Ray trying to regain her bearings here. After absorbing that blow from Kong, but right back to work on the arm goes Death Ray. Smart maneuver. Del Rey has tunnel vision when it comes uh, on what to exploit. Just like Hero and Castagnoli, they know how to pick apart one specific body part on their opponents. Target that weakness, perhaps get a submission victory, perhaps just soften them up for a pinfall. And Sarah Del Rey learned from the best when she aligned herself with the king. The systematic dissection of the arm of Amazing Kong now. 
as a result of the pain of wrestling, Sarah Del Rey. Kong reaching for a rope, reaching for any type of salvation, finally gets there. I think it's telling that Kong had to go to a rope and couldn't power her way out. That shows you it's working. And Kong, Del Rey tried to create some distance, but Kong kept her within grasp. And now these takedowns, huge splash in the corner. Now off the ropes. Could be all, no. And few athletes, male or female today, use their weight as well as Amazing Kong does. And it could be time for the Amazing Ball. Can she get it though with one good arm? Oh. Delray grabbed that arm. Broke the grasp with the weakened arm and used a bet to counter with a kick. The second time could be the charm. No. Through the legs goes Del Rey. Again, the arm coming into play. Getting on the apron now. Del Rey looking to see what's going on. Trying to get her up. I guess you got to admire the attempt, but this will be the first mistake of the match of Del Rey as she sent crashing into the king. Good thing she has her friends at ringside to catch her like that. Oh, yeah, thank you. What? Second attempt. Here comes Claw. 